Okay, what's up guys? It's Polish Mike and we're back to play some Firewatch. Alright, last time we left off, we uh found the teenagers. We also uh were accused of being a pervert, which is fun. That's always fun. Uh and now we're gonna get back to playing after this load screen. So hopefully we have a better time this time around and can figure out how to, you know, get around without being lost. But we found some fun things last time. We found like a chain link fence and everything. Alright, let's see. What is this? Oh, wait. Yep. I mean, he's, someone's gonna talk. What do you look like? Why like a asking? motherfucker. Because I'm horribly superficial. I believe it. I look like, uh, Burt Reynolds. <laughs> like Tom Cruise with a good-looking twin. I could yeah. be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that gives me a good start. I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's nice. Hot. And maybe, by the way, <laughs> I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, <laughs> what do you normally like to wear? Oh, man. Uh, clothes I don't really think about. Succedos? No. I try to look, uh, yeah, I try to look nice, like usually. Usually. Yeah, usually in my life I like to, I try to look nice. Hmm. I usually don't look nice, but yeah. <laughs> a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But um now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah. Well I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just um it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much though. Well it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? What the hell is wrong with this lady, yo? Uh, she sees a uh, thick beard, my nose is broken, you enjoy the mustache and nose scar. I have a thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. Alright, perfect. See, into me, yo, you can tell. I want to know about your eyes. Get what the here. fuck? I'm drawing you, I need to know. You're what? Girl! Is, is that okay? Uh, yo, she's definitely into us. She definitely <laughs> wants to dick. Definitely want the dick. Ooh, what is this? Oh shit! Right, she definitely want the dick. Uh, they're happy. I think. I mean, I've been yeah. They look happy. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe. Bitch, that. don't bring my wife into this shit. That's good. How dare you? Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You. All right, so I. <laughs> All right, great. So either my uh, my boss is really into me, or he's drawing like a fucking picture so he can like kill us by giving our f description to some killer. It's either one of those. I'm not sure which one. I really hope it's the first one, even though we're kind of married. We are married, but you know, stuff happens. Yo, my wife has dementia. She's in Australia. At this point, I'm technically single. Um, that's kind of that was the most douchey thing ever. So, what should I do? Uh, next? That was the most douchey thing I ever said in my life. What do you think is next? Well, you Yo, fucking tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September first and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task, and uh, I'll give it to Can you. Can I drink water? All right, ready to work, huh? Well. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. Can we just like clean up real quick? Cause it's really dirty in my room. In this room. Yeah, uh, of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I had a <laughs> splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. True, true, true. Oh, day nine. That was a damn. That was a quick skip. That went, man. To peaceful times were ahead of us. For like three, for like six days, there was nothing to do. We just sat around, bullshitting. That's cool. I, w I wish like I wish my job was like that. Just sitting around doing nothing. Ooh, that was a weird bite. Yes, ma'am. Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. 
That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two ah, young fuck. women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents oh, out of California shit. and haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. This isn't good. This isn't good. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. <laughs> just not say anything and save us the trouble. Yeah, don't. Nah, fuck okay, it. That's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Yeah, see, like... I don't trust people that uh, yeah. I would have been. To, I would went to jail basically because uh, those girls. Someone killed those girls. I'm telling you, it wasn't. It was, they didn't just get lost. Someone killed them. Probably that guy with the flashlight when we came out of the cave. This place is creepy. Very very creepy. I wonder if they're gonna like come and like question me and shit. Because like yo, that'd be kind of scary. Henry, wake up. Dude, I'm sleeping. Leave me alone. What the heck? How, why would you wake me up? Oh, come on. Is this that kind of job that you have to, like, be up all the time? What Ugh. You hey, you big dumb idiot. What? You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Hmm. What the fuck? What the hell? Yeah, it's good here. Is that my wife? Yo, my wife's cool. That's great, Henry. Really That's great. That's great, Henry. Really great. Well, I'm Australian, y'all. Yeah? I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm -hmm. She's very nice. She kind of, she's kind of into me. Bye, babe. I thought my guy was just having like a weird uh, episode and he was just like imagining his boss's voice as uh, his wife. But technically, but no, she was checking up on us, which is very nice of her. Very nice. I guess the dementia isn't uh, completely uh, rotted her brain yet. Hopefully it doesn't ever rot her brain. Because that was really nice. That was a sweet thing. Okay, let's see. What do we have to do here? Two forks. Yep, two forks. Tap, tap, double tap. Hike north to refuse supplies. supplies all cool. Way up to our towers? <clears throat> I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking <laughs> in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find this... No, it's track, perfectly fair. Remember, it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and... I don't want to have to call in for more. I'll take anything the fuck I want, yo. Jerky. You know jerky. I love beef jerky. Beef jerky is so good. Six. She's like really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> nice. Smoking that uh green stuff. Them trees. So this is what it have to be? Like two weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just oh, okay. It was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation, and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay. You know, when it comes to her. Oh shit! Okay. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, okay. So we uh, did imagine that whole thing, so which is kind of creepy. Months before I took this job, I. Oh yeah? Ooh, Javier. Oh, I know. I, my friend's name is Javier. Oh, that's funny. He was a driller down in Casper. Oh, my friend's not a driller. five years. I was working with Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Waltz was also a yeah. excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. 
Have your died. Oh damn. <laughs> That's crazy. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told oh, my but sister what's with my frames? They're dropping. So, oh my god. I lied to you. I came out here with a broken heart, just like you. Oh. I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. No, I really didn't okay, care, honestly. Technically, I really didn't give a shit. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Yeah, really, I didn't really care that, uh, about her life story, really. But, uh, whatever. I guess we learned it. Could I just, like, take other shit? Nah, I'm not gonna be a dick. I'm just gonna, uh, her hanging out. I'm just gonna, like, leave it. Here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Yeah, I'm not a dick, yo. <laughs> Alright, so it's 60, day 64. We're uh, definitely moving along, man. This game, this game's kind of going. I mean, something interesting needs to happen because right now we're just kind of hiking and shit. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying like it could be bad. It could be like more interesting right now. But it's gonna get interesting. I uh, I have hope in it. I believe it's gonna get very interesting because my friend says interesting. And I believe my friend. Oh shit! Yup, motherfucking fire. Yeah, Damn. It's really going. What the fuck do I do now? They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Yeah, yeah. Uh. <laughs> the flapjack fire. Flapjack fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. <laughs> That's the most like chill, ch like children, childish thing to do. Um, you know what my favorite thing to do is. What's that? What it was that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water. The fuck? Nice like tonight when it is so disgustingly hot. I have something nice and cool to drink. I live oh, nice. my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Oh, that sounds interesting. I'm gonna try that one day. Uh having bad time tequila. I would if it was with you. Oh, whoa, oh no. <laughs> yeah, let's not go right there. My guy's not ready for that yet. Well, maybe you just need a new good experience with it. Uh, yeah. Damn, she definitely wants us, yo. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. I am looking at the... Okay. I'm okay, I'm looking at it. <laughs> I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but... When the sun is down, you can just... Get lost. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> Yo, she really wants us, right? Me too. Sure you are. Why do you say that? Yeah, why do you say that? I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? So what if she's not even real? That'd be crazy. Oh my god. Jesus. Damn. I'm a player, my guy a player. Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Uh, Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. My guy's a player, bruh. He playing the game. Sure too. We could sit outside. We could talk. We've got these radios. We could um can have sex, yo. Bow chicka bow bow. What? Oh, what are we gonna do? Well, what can we do, girl? Let me tell you. Oh shit, she about to talk dirty. <laughs> oh, she talk. I'm telling you, she talked dirty to my dude. That's that's oh man. 
We were about to uh, get it in, yo. I mean, sure, we're technically married, but yo, come on. It's the woods, and nobody would know. <laughs> uh, this is crazy. I'm pretty sure my boss is into me. Couldn't, I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm about like 95% sure. It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. <laughs> that reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Okay, uh, problem bear, fuck that, sure. Uh, sure, no sure. problem. Remember me yeah, why not? Probably. I can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so basically, uh, I'm gonna end it here, guys. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.